totally unique. It's a one-stop shop for all your lo-fi needs. It's the artifact lo-fi elements from Source Audio. You heard it on all those guitar parts at the beginning of the video. A bunch of deliciously messed up guitar tones. I really like lo-fi stuff because I think people are sort of just inherently flawed. <laughs> Me included. And so I think we just like connect sometimes with sounds that are distorted and warped and, you know, mangled. And, uh, you know, sometimes there's a mood to it. Like it can be a serious mood, can create kind of an atmosphere or a, a feeling, you know, tape warble and filtered sounds and lo-fi reverbs and stuff like that. But there can also be a lot of humor in it. And I really enjoy that. And I try to kind of capture that in the tune at the beginning of the video. Actually all that, kind of the mood part at the beginning and then getting into the kind of the humor stuff at the end. So anyways, if I read right off their website here, it says that it's a comprehensive collection, this pedal, of all the hazy, scratchy, wobbly, and broken tones that epitomize the term lo-fi. Like a mega delay or mega reverb, Artifact is a one-stop shop for all the most sought after lo-fi effects, including old vinyl replications, tape mod, saturation, bit crushing, sample rate reduction, dark reverb, and echo filtering, compression, glitch, and more. So I tried to hit a lot of those types of tones in the tune at the beginning of the video. You've basically got a few different controls here. A destruct control, that kind of just, you know, the more you pour it on, the more you destroy your tone. Filter control, a mix control that also doubles as a volume, a vary control, uh, and modulation control. And then you get this switch here that lets you switch between all the different lo-fi modes, which include radio, tape, verb, crush, ladder, vinyl, and glitch. A couple three position toggle switches here to switch um, bandwidth in between low, medium, and high. And a three way here for the mod switch to go between rate, depth and shape so you're able to like say switch up the you know the rate or uh, speed of your tape warp modulation as well as how deep the modulation goes and then also the shape of that modulation now because this is source audio you can get a lot deeper with this pedal if you want to it's got full midi control there's a usb jack on the back there midi through jack there on the side i mean you can totally store presets in this midi in jack on this side but you can also recall up to four presets on the unit like store and recall up to four with no midi involved so if you're familiar with some of their other pedals, one thing I like about them is that they're sort of this combination of complex and simple. You can get really deep with this, hooking it up to a computer and editing and doing stuff and store as many presets as you basically will ever need, all that kind of good stuff. But if you just want to kind of play with the controls on the pedal and store a few of your favorite sounds and never plug it into a computer, ed computer editor, excuse me, you can do that too. And indeed, I didn't hook it up to the editor. I just used the knobs in this video and created a bunch of different tones. You know, as is my style, I like to create a piece of music that just shows off the tones that are kind of, you know, first impression almost. And so that's what I did in my video. So you've also got an on-off switch there, and then you've got a tap switch here, stereo or mono input and output. I'm going to get on now to some sound examples, break down some of those tones from the song at the beginning of the video so you can hear some of the different capabilities of the artifact. Okay, here we go. All right, I just recorded my first part in the song at the beginning of the video with no pedal. It sounds like this. There's the tone, just kind of like warm American sort of clean sound. Turning on the pedal, things get genuinely and astoundingly lo-fi. Okay, so the mix control, if I set it at about half, so you get half dry and half effect. Quite a cool sound, actually, because you get that the full dry signal, and then you get the, the modulating lo-fi in there at the same time. And there's a ton of noise on this. This is the radio uh, sort of setting or algorithm in the pedal here. So I'll go back to fully wet here and let's take a look at what some of the controls do so the filter control if i turn it all the way down or close to shut down all the top end if i bring it up it's going to get real bright The destruct control on this setting um, brings in this kind of like static bursts. Really screws up your sound. <laughs> it's hilarious. So, okay, so that's what that does. Now, let's change the vary control here and listen to what that does.
It seems to almost add some gain to the sound, you know, it kind of boosts the signal. Um, now the modulation, I can add much more either rate or depth to it and, you know, get a way more seasick warbly thing. Right now it's kind of almost like a, uh, like a record uh, that's warped. Uh, so I'll make it a little more apparent. That's with increasing the depth. Now, if I, I turn the depth down a bit, I'll bring the rate up. I quite like that. I love sounds like this. They sound like warped records, like a warped 78 or something from the 30s. Pretty cool lo-fi sound. So a cool thing is on the option or tap switch here on this particular setting that I've got going, um, I can turn off all the noise, kind of the, the radio crackle, or it sounds almost like record scratch or something. I guess since I'm on the radio setting, it's supposed to be like, you know, uh, bad reception AM noise or something, but check it out. <laughs> So you can choose whether or not you want all that junk in the signal, or you can get rid of it and just keep the sort of mangled, warped guitar sound, but without all the extra background hiss and junk. I just recorded um, the kind of little high part. And this is using the reverb algorithm. And it's got an extremely lo-fi, I don't know what sort of reverb. Spring, it's a spring for sure. Like a great big stereo wobbly spring that could only exist in the digital world. <laughs> and at the end of this part, I actually dialed back the, uh, the reverb tail and cranked up the rate at the same time with all with one hand while holding down this switch right here which infinite tails out the verb and does a really cool thing so i hit this note and then you'll see what i did here i'll show you <laughs> you get good at stuff like this after making enough of these videos anyway with this switch right here you can hold that down and infinite hold notes forever which is pretty cool Spaceship is taking off. All right, so I had a lot of fun with glitch mode. This was funny. This is when I played the first sort of little melody. When I hold down the, the uh, pedal on the right, it's gonna grab whatever the last thing I played is. It's gonna dive it down in pitch, at least the way I have it set. And then when I release the button, the green light comes on over here. So it goes purple when I hit it the first time, then it turns green, and then it spits the note back out and up and kind of reverses it and plays some other stuff that it's like, how is it doing that? But it's interesting. It's never the same thing twice, and it's really fun, uh, which you could probably see me laughing in the video but uh so here's what i played and i'll show you just it's gonna be random it's gonna be different every time let's see what happens So it's just random kind of business. And there's kind of a, uh, a bunch of different things you can do in this mode, I found. By setting the controls different, you get to a different place every time. So if you find something you like, you better store it as a preset, I think. But it is really fun. I'm just gonna turn the knobs for a second so you can see what I mean. Now that I've recorded the part, I can get away from my sound here and let's see what, what comes out.
So that's me playing with the rate control, and it seems as though, yeah, it's going to grab whatever I'm I'm playing and then spit it out faster when the rate control is... is that makes sense, I guess. Uh, let's see if I can make something interesting sounding with this. <laughs> I don't know what the depth control does in this setting. Let's try that and see. Okay, so I just recorded uh, the rhythm guitar part that kind of kicks in when the loud drums come in. And for this, I'm using the tape setting. It's kind of like a tape slap. I did one channel in the right with uh, this sound, and this is with the destruct control up kind of high. It adds a layer of overdrive all its own. Sort of like distorted tape. And then I did the other channel with this overdrive pedal on, like this. But anyway, it's tape slap, and it's cool. It's got kind of like that, you know. If you roll the filter down, it just kind of makes the tape sound darker. Real dark. Turn it up. Brighter and snappier. You know, that kind of thing. And then the very control changes the, uh, the, the delay time, essentially. Turn it up. Turn it down. You know, so you can get very short kind of effects going. And the mod works on this and everything if I want more mod. Get some warble going, you know, pitch warble, that kind of thing going. So it's, it sounded really cool, uh, sort of almost like echoplex with one repeat, real loud slap that I was going for. Everybody, thanks for watching my video on the artifact from Source Audio, Lo-Fi Elements, super unique lo-fi pedal where you can get everything from tape warp to lo-fi reverbs to uh, bit crushing. There's vinyl sounds, there's glitchy sounds, all kinds of stuff in there. If you need some lo-fi in your life, look no further. Check it out at the website that you see there below in the video description. It'll take you to more info about the artifact from Source Audio. Thanks so much for watching. I am Pete Thorne. Take care.